Hey YouTube, uh, I'm just making a quick video trying to maybe help out a couple of you out there having the same issues as me as this has been a huge uh, frustration for me over the last few weeks. Um, so basically the problem that I'm going to go over is that once I upgraded to Windows 10 uh, using Surface Pro 3, um, I started running into a ton of problems which I really didn't expect since, you know, Microsoft manufactures this tablet and I thought for sure that they would make sure before they release Windows 10 that it would at least work on their um, You know their premier tablet. So um, Obviously that didn't happen for um, for me. It didn't uh, the transition didn't work out very well um, I know other people maybe with later generation um, Service Pro 3s didn't experience the same issues. Maybe it's a uh, slight hardware changes. I don't know anyway um uh, I'm going to try, sorry I haven't really um, organized this presentation very well, it's just kind of something I'm doing on the fly. Um, so right here I have wrote down just some of the issues that I resolved. Um, so the pen erasing randomly, uh, if you've experienced that, that's basically you're just writing and then all of a sudden you might have stuff written up there and then you start writing down here and this will just randomly erase. And there seems to be no... Um, explaining or predicting where something would be deleted randomly which is really frustrating for me because I use OneNote as a student and I record lectures and I do all my homework I do everything on here and so like the biggest problem that I experienced was I was creating a uh, note sheet for one of my exams and I'm writing down all these mathematical equations that you know there's no way I could ever remember and I, I don't know if there's randomly gonna be like a squared term deleted or something and then when I go to use that equation on a test or something it's just you know it's it's hard it, it presented a really big challenge and stressed me the heck out so anyway that was a, the biggest problem that I had and I, I found a couple solutions to that problem um, and I'm not sure which one actually ended up fixing it I don't know if it was a, a combination of the things that I did so I'll show you how I fixed that also um, I uh, recently I've been experiencing audio not w recording lectures not recording for some reason it'll just record silence and I think maybe uh, Microsoft pushed out some kind of hardware or firmware up update or some kind of update that just um, caused me to have this problem it seems like it's a hardware issue I'll show you how I fixed that and then um, before those two problems I was just having an issue um, getting Microsoft Edge browser to send uh, pages to OneNote so uh, I'll demonstrate what was happening and, and how I got that to, to work and also I'm actually still experiencing syncing issues I'm not sure what's going on there um, so I haven't resolved that one yet um, anyway so let's get started so for the pen erasing randomly I already explained what that problem was um, and here I have a link to a solution that I found on the internet how to solve that problem they said that it was an issue uh, that had to do with how long you um, set your your uh, touch your pen and touch settings so the press and hold um, in particular was the setting that they asked you to change so you go into the control panel pen and touch uh, control panel select the touch tab and then the press and hold tab select the settings on there and change the speed and duration to long click OK initially when I did this it didn't actually fix the problem um, but I did do that and I also um, I also found this solution this is the one that seems to have really worked so there's an article on wind 8 apps called ink disappears uh, in OneNote 2016 I was also experiencing in, in uh, OneNote 2013 and uh, this is their solution that seemed to have helped me. <clears throat> so it's this one, enable automatic handwriting recognition. So you go into your, to your um, settings here, you go to options, then you go to, uh, let's see, where was it, audio? No, it's advanced. Go to advanced, and then you go to pen, and then there's this box. You uncheck it and hit OK. So I've already done that, and since I've done that, I haven't had the issue anymore. So I think that might have been the thing that fixed it. The audio not recording, the problem that, uh, or the solution 
for that. It seems I still don't know if this is a, a, a long-term solution, but I think I really I think that this is going the is the problem. I noticed that when I go to my recording devices, I don't remember having this before Windows 10, and um, I, I don't know what this even really is. But I did notice that before it seemed like I was using this device, and now I don't get any kind of um, see how this bar is moving up and down. I, I don't. I used to have it here. Now I only have it here. So what I did is, and this is set as the default device. I guess you could just make this your default device um, and get the same results. But what I did instead is in my audio settings. You go here to options, then you go to audio and video. I did have this set to. Um, default device and now I have it on um, this one the array and it looks like I actually I just did this change and it just started working for me so this may or may not fix your problem we'll see I guess I can post another video and update whether or not the, it actually did fix the problem but it seems to have fixed the problem I, I, I played with this too and I changed this to Windows Voice 9 I did have it on 10 and then I had it on um, let's see like I think I had it on 320 kilobytes per second, and um, and that wasn't working. But I had used it on this setting for like years. I've been using OneNote for a while now, and I just had it on default device for that time, all the way up until now. And now I'm, I've just switched it to this. So I think this these settings will work as they were before um, I ran into this issue. So I'm just going to set it to that. And so that's pretty much. This resolving that problem I think that what happened for me is uh, some 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 I think Microsoft pushed something out and changed the way that these devices are used I don't know I'm not really sure oh hmm that's weird hopefully the audio in this video is going to work I'm really disappointed with Microsoft um, really really frustrated I, I cannot believe how frustrating and stressful um, upgrading to Windows 10 has been for me I wish I would have stayed in Windows 8.1 at least until the semester was over because I, it's caused me so many headaches um, so the final thing I'm going to go over is Microsoft Edge browser um, not working I said not talking because it seemed like it was some kind of syncing issue and it does it still doesn't seem to be working exactly how I expect it but the maybe you don't even know about this functionality but in Microsoft Edge now you can go to any page and you're supposed to be able to click this little paper and pen and then you're supposed to be able to mark up the page with your pen so see I'm not for some reason it's not working right now maybe Oh, here we go. It was just taking a while to load. So yeah, you're, you're supposed to be able to write on pages, and then if you want to, you can share them, or you can send them to your OneNote and just save them. So I, that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to send them to my Quick Notes. So before when I was doing that, it wasn't sending for some reason. It wasn't, uh, it just wasn't working. And uh, if I open up OneNote, OneNote, the app, oh, the app is what I want. Windows Store app. So now you can see that it shows up here, or it should show up here. This is what I just did. So yeah, there's the, the things that I just marked up. So it does show up here now, and if I go into my desktop app, one other thing that I noticed is it doesn't seem to sync right away to my OneNote app, or to the desktop um, version of OneNote. So here if I go to Quick Notes, let's see if it's actually there. It looks like it did it this time. What I've noticed is sometimes I have to open up both at the same time. Um, if I don't actually have this open when I send it to, because it, it seems to go to this app. The, the Windows Store app first and then it syncs from here to the desktop app so if this isn't open then um, it won't show up in my desktop version of OneNote 
until I open this up. And then sometimes I have to like just switch over to different tabs and I don't know, you make it work, I guess. And it that's the way it is with Microsoft products apparently. I thought that they were actually moving moving away from that kind of low quality standard. Um, but and hopefully they get their act together because I've been really disappointed as I said most multiple times already today. And I've been just been having weird syncing issues. So if anybody knows the solution to this problem, so basically um, I'm not even able to sync uh, this notebook for some reason. And the syncing issues are causing me a huge headache. I have no idea how to fix this problem. Um, it just won't sync all the way. It just loads or uh, tries to sync forever. It'll never finish. And then now I'm I'm running into constant uh, conflict pages for some reason. I'll get these conflict pages every single day, and it makes no sense why I should have a conflict page. I don't know what what the point of that is. Oh, and one other thing I should mention is I actually did reinstall Windows uh, 10 completely after I upgraded. I did a, a fresh install and uh, they have an option where you don't have to lose any of your document and files but you do have to um, you have to reinstall programs which didn't end up being that big of an issue uh, for me but that may that solved some other syncing issues I was having initially too um, so um, yeah, so that's pretty much my presentation. Uh, hopefully this helps somebody out there. Um, uh, go ahead and leave comments. Thanks for watching, and have a good day. Bye.